There are two main ways to find the derivative of cosine squared of x, which are by using the chain rule and the product rule. Let's begin by using the chain rule. Cosine squared of x can actually be written as cosine of x squared, which is a composite function, so we can apply the chain rule to find its derivative. By using the chain rule, we first take the derivative of the outer function without changing the inner function. In this case, we can apply the power rule, just like what we normally do by bringing the exponent down and reducing the exponent by 1. By doing so, we end up with 2 multiplied by cosine of x. Then, we will have to multiply the expression by the derivative of the inner function, which in this case is the derivative of cosine of x. For the derivative of cosine x, we know that it's equivalent to negative sine x according to the formulas of derivative. By multiplying these terms, we end up with negative 2 multiplied by sine of x, multiplied by cosine of x, and we found the derivative of cosine squared x. However, this expression can actually be further simplified by using trigonometric identities. According to one of the double angle formulas, when we are given sine of 2x, it is the same as 2 sine x multiplied by cosine x. Since our expression contains the 2 sine x multiplied by cosine x, we can replace it by sine 2x. And we've got our final answer. That's how we find the derivative of cosine squared x by using the chain rule. Now, let's proceed to the second method, which is the product rule. Just like what we did earlier, we can rewrite the function of cosine squared x into cosine x squared, which also means that it is cosine of x multiplied by another cosine of x. Since it is a product of functions, we can apply the product rule. By using the product rule, we first keep the first part of the function the same, which is cosine of x, and multiply it by the derivative of the second part, which is the derivative of cosine of x. Then, plus the derivative of the first part, which is also the derivative of cosine of x, and multiply it by the second part of the function without changing it. For the derivative of cosine of x, we know that it's equal to negative sine x. Since both terms are actually the same, we can add them up, and we end up with negative 2 multiplied by sine of x, multiplied by cosine of x, and we found the derivative. However, just like what we did earlier, we can further simplify this expression. According to the double angle formula, the expression 2 sine x multiplied by cosine x is also the same as sine of 2x. And we've got our final answer. That's how we take the derivative of cosine squared x by using the product rule. Hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. Thanks for watching.